I'm going to talk about uh, the difference between Arima and LSTM and what are the similarities between these two modeling techniques. Arima and LSTM both are used in uh, time series forecasting and uh, Arima comes from uh, classical statistical analysis whereas LSTM is from the machine learning and AI and both can be used for the same purpose so I'll draw a comparison between these two modeling techniques and where to use what um, the pros and cons and um, the merits and demerits of these two techniques and it's important to understand actually when to use Arima and when to use uh, LSTM so what is Arima is the autoregressive integrated moving average very popular uh, time series modeling technique it's coming from the uh, classical statistical modeling approach to you know forecast any time series variable it could be GDP it could be stock price stock re return and um, it is not that complex a model um, it does involve some level of mathematics uh, but it's easy to understand the underlying mathematics behind uh, Arima models in contrast to LSTM which is a bit more difficult because it is neural network based so while the design is, is very clear mathematics is also not very difficult but it's very difficult to understand uh, you know the how the forecasting is done because of the various steps involved in in, uh, in neural network so on the other hand Arima is very theoretically strong models widely popular among academicians and practitioner um, it's used in many places in environmental modeling in financial modeling quantitative finance economic research um, you name it even in tech sector people still use Arima despite uh, the growing popularity of AI models <coughs> Arima is still uh, a preferred choice you know, in many organizations um, certainly in academia it's still quite very very popular LSTM which stands for uh, long short term memory is uh, a neural network model in particular it's a recurrent neural network and uh, it is uh, you know it is designed to model sequential data which is nothing but time series data that means data collected over different time periods now neural network is uh, in many ways different from the classical statistical model in in that there are different layers to neural network and the computation is a lot more difficult compared to that of a uh, classical statistical model and uh, the second difference is that the neural network models are likely to perform better when you have very uh, large data set but for smaller data set that yeah neural network models are not very very suitable there are other differences we will talk about it but neural network is mainly um, applicable in, in engineering problems you know in image recognition in, in those speech recognition um, that sort of things and building applications but for instance if you want to uh, forecast inflation right will you use neural network LSTM in this case um, that's a question mark depending well you can try anything wrong with that you can always use number of models benchmark one against the other you could do that but uh, it's not um, always um, recommendable that you know you use neural network models for data sets which are which are small however the you know LST models are actually good uh, both in short term and long term predictions uh, the time series ARIMA models are actually not that great in short term predictions especially with uh, fluctuations happening in short term um, so the long term trend prediction is, is actually good for ARIMA but short term uh, predictions uh, are not that reliable whereas LSTM is good in both so that's one good thing other thing is that uh, ARIMA model cannot handle the non-state stationary data automatically well, you really have to do something about it and uh, for example the integration part of ARIMA is about you know differencing uh, your non-stationary time series to make it stationary and so there is you know uh, a, a, a very specific step involved to make non-stationary series uh, stationary in order to be able to uh, build a good forecasting model 
and there is a bit of a subjectivity involved here because you do not know how many times you need to uh, difference well there are some techniques you, you can use but still um, it's not purely automatic whereas in lstm um, you do not have to uh, separately handle the non stationary part there are of course some subjectivity involved in neural network or lstm models also many parameter hyperparameters especially hyperparameters you need to choose yourself but um you know the non uh, the way you handle non stationarity is something that is um, automatically you know inbuilt within the lstm uh, models right um so that's one good advantage actually uh, of lstm over uh, arima if you want to quickly build models right um, you want to build like hundreds of models for hundreds of time series people do that in some uh, sectors for example e-commerce and all i think you can do quickly uh, using uh, lstm you don't have to worry too much about the theory and and uh, things which which you do have to worry about when you build arima models there are many differences one is the difference about the complexity arima models are relatively simpler we have already discussed about it uh, and easier to build easier to understand compared to lstm models for that matter any neural network model is more difficult to understand especially understanding the relationship between input and output the model predictions and the input coming from uh, for the, the relationship of that is a bit difficult to understand for arima compared to uh, sorry for lstm compared to arima uh, interpretability is another uh, difference arima models are relatively easy to interpret uh, therefore you know quite uh, useful actually in many instances for example uh, in uh, in finance in investment people really want to understand everything in detail right it cannot just be black box so in finance and risk management in banking you know those areas arima models are still quite quite actually popular and lstm models are rarely rarely used however lstm models are um, you know popular among engineers and uh, you know um yeah in engineering applications you know people who develop or build you know things i think they don't care much about the explainability part and their lstm is more popular um data requirement right for arima models uh, you can build an arima model with uh, with 30 observations also but uh, for lstm you need uh, a bigger data set well you can actually um, build lstm models with smaller data sets but uh, the added advantage um, the added value is not more i mean you could rather uh, build an arima model right why build an lstm model on a small data set the data requirement is is more however for uh, you know arima models Uh, if the data is stationary then it's is better if it is non stationary then you know the modeling process is becomes bit more uh, complicated however there are ways to do it also right uh, in terms of performance i think uh, lstm models have shown great performance it is not very clear whether lstm models uh, perform better uh, than arima Uh, in all times certainly in short term forecasting they do perform better there are some evidences but in long term ten forecasting um, haven't been uh, in much of evidence and some applications people are now uh, preferring lstm for example in trading and all quant trading people are now using uh, lstm models over arima models uh, i know a friend who is working in crypto firm he is using uh, lstm models for forecasting compared to arima model so it is becoming more you know popular among practitioners uh, also in finance uh, i mean in other places like e-commerce and tech in those sectors uh, it's already popular but less popular in 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 uh, finance uh regarding applications so arima model is super popular among academic researchers scientists or social scientists um all of them use arima model for forecasting uh arima model also still quite popular in finance and and quant finance um it is the go to model if you want to do uh, an univariate uh, forecasting uh 
However, LSTM is actually getting more popular nowadays. At least to you know, do the benchmarking, people are using LSTM models nowadays um, to compare performance of Ariman and, and, and LSTM. People are using LSTM models. However, LSTM models is likely to you know overfit in some cases. So you really need to be careful about uh, how you build the model, how to test the performance of the model. Um, and uh, LSTM model being a neural network model is not. Uh, something that a uh, regulator, banking regulator will accept. So that's also another reason why LSTM models are less popular in finance compared to in other fields. So when to use what, right? If you are worried about interpretability, you really want to interpret uh, the results very clearly, then Arima should be preferred over LSTM. Uh, that's a requirement in, in finance and risk management. Um, in many other areas, uh, interpretability uh, is not that important. As long as the prediction accuracy is good, it doesn't matter. Uh, I know people working in e-commerce, they simply want to uh, forecast uh, the demand or supply accurately. They do not care about interpretability of the models. If you have less data, then Arima should be preferred. Because if you, not, if you do not have good amount of data, I think LSTM will not have good value. But you, you can always try something wrong, especially for benchmarking. For engineering problems, LSTM is preferred. And nowadays, you know, building LSTM models is not that difficult. Uh, you can always find good libraries. It used to be a bit more difficult, actually, uh, like a decade back. Um, Hardware uh, requirement for a neural network is is uh, you know more uh, sophisticated compared to Arima modeling. I mean, you can build an Arima model in a simple laptop, whereas for deep learning models, uh, neural network models, you need um, better configurations and better hardware. Also, implementation, right? Uh, it's also easier to implement Arima models compared to you know LSTM models. So that's also another thing to consider while choosing one over the other. In terms of prediction accuracy, there is no concrete conclusion as to which one is better. Uh, in some cases, people, you know, people have uh, concluded that you know LSTM does better than Arima, whereas uh, this can be disputed. There is no clear evidence of that. There is no you know, publication regarding LSTM doing better than Arima, although LSTM is becoming more popular among the practitioners. In uh, in Kaggle and all, I think LSTM is doing better. That's what I've heard. On large data sets, LSTM seems to perform better. Uh, if you have an insane amount of data, uh, then LSTM does better. For long term, uh, long term forecasting Arima does very well. Arima is very theoretical model, so you have a lot of control on the modeling, uh, the way you model. So, uh, there, uh, yeah, you, you could do, do that. Um, 